I love PC gaming. I love the graphics, I love the frame rates, but I don't always like sitting at my computer. Today, we're gonna to talk about how you can play your PC games on your couch, in your bed, or even on your back patio. We're gonna talk about how to set up Sunshine so that you can stream your PC games anywhere your Wi-Fi reaches. There's a lot of different ways to stream PC games to your phone, your tablet, your TV, or even your Xbox. Editor Eric here. I actually just went to double check the Xbox and the link in the description below where it describes retail mode no longer works. Uh, the developer may fix that in the future, so I'll leave it there, but just be aware currently it's down. Is one of those ways. Because it's GPU agnostic, you can use it with anything and it's visually appealing and has low latency. We're gonna talk about three different programs that you'll need to install to be able to stream PC games to your device, whatever it may be. The first of those is Sunshine. That's the client that will take care of sending the audio and video from your PC to the client. We're gonna install a program called Play Night to aggregate all of your PC titles beyond just Steam. Uh, you can bring all your libraries under one roof and an extension for that that will actually export that into Sunshine. And then finally, we're going to talk about Moonlight, a app uh, for Android primarily that you can install on a variety of different devices, including an Xbox, to receive that picture and video and send back controller input so that you can play wherever you've got a strong Wi-Fi signal. This is Lizard Byte's GitHub page to download Sunshine. As we can see, it lists the different GPUs that it's compatible with. All the source code if you want to check it out for yourself. And down at the bottom is the link to the latest version. Here you can see we've got a number of different installers to choose from. I choose the Windows installer since I'm running Windows. When I click to run it, it didn't start naturally. That's because Windows Smart Screen noticed this as a potential threat. Upon double clicking, we see the Windows Smart Screen protection. I chose to go ahead and run it anyway because I know this program, I've used it, and I trust it. From here, we go through your standard installer process. You can look through these if you want to. I just select the defaults for everything. So now we find Sunshine. Here's the foreground mode. And if I remember right, yes. Yeah, so to configure the UI, you have to go to this localhost and then the port number. So you can actually hit control click to get to the link I would highly suggest bookmarking this. So here you will have to come up with a password. And then we're in. So from here, configuring Sunshine is pretty straightforward. It automatically does desktop and Steam Big Picture. I didn't mess with the configuration a whole lot. I left it set as an Xbox 360 gamepad. It, you can choose the different resolutions that you've got and the different frame rates. We'll talk about this later in the Moonlight setup on how to actually choose that. Uh, but you can go through here and choose how you want to do things, if there's any specific settings that you want to do. But at the end of the day, this is really all you need to make it work. Um, we'll come back here in a little bit to see what this, to show what this pin is. But it is installed and we're ready to move on to the next step. The second program we are going to download and install is Playnight. As you can see, it's at playnight.link. I'll have the, descri or the link in the description below. We can just click download and run it. This is one of those programs that's really nice to have for our purposes is gonna be for game streaming. Um, however, this one is a great way to just bring all of your game libraries together under one roof and not have 
to open Steam, open EA Play, open Xbox, just have it all in one. Uh, we're going to stick with the default install location. All right, when you first start it up, it's going to ask to configure it. It basically wants access to all your different libraries. So I have all of these. Well, not all of them. We'll take a minute to get signed into all these accounts and then finish the setup. Now that we've got Play Night all installed, it's going to take a while to import the games from our libraries, uh, see what's installed, what's not installed, and download the appropriate cover art and descriptions and so on. So we'll let this run. It had to download just over 900 box covers and album arts and metadata. So we'll check back here in just a moment. All right, after that's all completed, you can come back in here. Uh, if you wanna go through any of these, you can actually edit them. Uh, if you don't like the media that came through, um, you can download, you can choose where you download it from and choose exactly what what you want it to look like, uh, select current or new, save. So, I mean, you can really kind of go through here and customize this however you want. Uh, but that's really it for the play night part for the moment. We're gonna come back to our downloads page. Uh, the next thing we're gonna install is an extension for play night that will export the games from play night over to Sunshine. Again, link will be in here, but it's this file right here. Click this, and we can see, do you want to install the new extension? Yes, I do. Please note, they can affect it. Yep, we know that. Must restart. Do you want to restart? Yes, I do. What we can do is, this is very, very simple. So we can click on any one game if we want, or we can hold shift and select multiple games, or control and pick specific ones. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick just two of them. Say we'll do Breath Edge, check out my review if you haven't seen it already, Dinkum and Elden Ring. And then we come up here to the corner and we go to Extensions and we see the Sunshine Export. Export selected games. Asks where you wanna export it to. This is just the default location and we can hit Start. Created three app shortcuts. Dismiss. That's it. That's all done. So if we go back over to Sunshine now, we can actually click on Applications, then we see that they are located here. Now I have noticed sometimes you do have to click Edit and just go in and hit Save at the bottom to make it actually show up on the device you're trying to stream it to. That's, that's it. Next step we'll do is to show on your local device, how to connect into this game streaming service. Moonlight. Moonlight is a client that will connect to Sunshine and essentially receive the video and audio from your computer and will in turn send the game input back. Uh, I believe it'll even send microphone input as well. So super easy to download and set up, search for, Moonlight. It looks like this little pizza here. Click install. This can also be installed on Chromecast and smart TVs as well. So this is really usable on many devices. So all we have to do is click. Uh, first thing it shows up is any devices that have an active Sunshine server running mainframe and here it says please enter the pin on your target PC so this is talking about going into the web UI which we're already at it's this localhost 47990 all we have to do is go here to pin and type in that 3880 please check moonlight to continue we can see it's refreshing and the apps that we had chosen previously to export to Moonlight in the applications is 
now showing up in here. So we can click on any one of these. So for example, let's say we wanted to play, let's say we want to play Dinkum. We can fire it up. Play Night will go through the steps necessary. Now, we notice that in this case, it did open in the background. We can see it running, but if we were not at our computer, how would we get there? So the kind of cool thing about this is you can enable mouse, and we're going to long press here, and the start button there. We see mouse emulation on. And we can actually select our game, and then long press one more time, and then release. And now we are in game. We could go about creating our character or whatever we want to do at that point. So there you have it. All the programs that you need to install and set up game streaming from your PC to whatever device you like. Comment down below, let me know if you've tried this out, if it works for you, or if you've got a better method that I should include in an updated video. Have a great one.